At video 3 inside module 1, now that we installed the project, we got the project off of GitHub, we got it running. Now let's take a closer look at some of the files that we'll, we'll be working with throughout the course. Inside of our project, the first thing we'll check out is our server. So this is like our fake backend, our fake database, and I'm using JSON server. So if we take a closer look at this, this is our database.json file. And here we have a bunch of records. We got a products array, a whole list of products. And then also down the, at the bottom, we got a bunch of users here. So whenever we're logging in, we use the admin or the user. And you'll notice there's no passwords or anything like that. So this isn't really logging the user in. It's kind of a fake login process. We didn't really need to set up like a real server or anything like that to test out NGRX. So I didn't bother with that. So I used this fake server here. So that's our server. And then if we go inside of our application, the Angular application, and go inside of the modules, and we'll be doing a lot of work within the auth and also the products. Now we are currently at video 45. That's the reason you see this state here. Now, if you're at video seven, if you're at that branch, this will look a little different. And also inside the auth module, like for example, the login modal, we add that later on. So you won't see this component. The only reason you're seeing this is because we're at video 45. Now this auth links component, that is the links that you're seeing at the top right of the header. If we go back to the project, and that is up here. So these two links are within their own component. And that's it for the auth module. And then the other module we'll be doing a lot of work inside of is the products module. So the products module, we have a bunch of components that are gonna be within the admin section and also the shopping section. Let's check them out. If we go to the shopping page, this component right here, you'll find within that module, this filtering component, this whole filtering section right here is within its own component, and that's within our products module. And then if you log in and log in as the admin, then go to the shopping page or the products page, I mean, all these components are all within that folder as well. So that's it for our modules. So if we close this up and go into the pages, where we're gonna be starting at in module three is the customer support. And this is a form. If we check that out, we'll go back here. And then to find that form, you can click on this on the bottom right here. That will send you to the customer support page. And this is where we're gonna start implementing NGRX into. And then you'll find other typical components like the home component and the not found component. We won't be doing much work inside of those components throughout the course. We'll be primarily working inside the customer support component. And that's it for the pages. And then we got a bunch of shared items like the footer. We won't be doing any work in there. The header, the course list, that's the course list you see on the home page. Some shared models, services, and the top bar where our links are at. And that's pretty much it for the shared folder. We won't be in this folder much throughout the course either. So that is a quick rundown of this application. So now let's get into the NGRX stuff. So in module two, we'll just go over what NGRX is and why we should use it.